I'm going to use the wall join tool to clean up some wall type intersections that are currently a bit messy in this drawing. Uh, elevator should be to our uh, shaft wall construction and we have the correct type of wall around the elevator. What happens however is that these walls that meet the elevator wall are causing it to uh, fracture and disjoin in a way. So we're going to start the same way by taking the intersecting walls and dragging their ends away from the uh, the elevator walls, which were a different type. Um, and I'm going to show a, a slightly uh, different mode that the wall join can work. Uh, from the Modify tab, Wall Join, go to the endpoint of each of these walls that you want to uh, not to join to the elevator wall. And drag the symbol moves over until it meets the corner. Turn it and disallow the join for each of these walls that are going to have to intersect with the elevator. Okay, now we've prepared the walls correctly, escape and modify. Let's zoom in so we can do this very carefully. There's the disallow join icon. So we know that it's safe to drag this wall toward the elevator till it just touches, because that in actual construction, that's what we, we want it to do. The demising wall, not quite a line, but no matter. Otherwise, this would be a very sloppy corner. And finally, that one. Okay, so controlling this is not very difficult. Uh, we need two hour construction around this, uh, these pipes. Um, so, well, we have the wrong that's, there's a correct uh, chase wall. This is a, a thinner uh, chase wall that's p probably the core layer of which is a, a three and a half inch me metal stud. So I want to make sure that this wall and that wall is that type as well. So let's make that this two hour chase wall type. That means that it has double layers of, of 5 eighths gypsum board type X. Uh, so these three walls are one type. The elevator wall is still two hours so that, that's going to form, that's fine because that means that the pipes will still be enclosed in two hour construction. I'm going to move this wall down a little bit. It's intersecting that pipe. Same idea here. Take away the offending wall. And I'm going to show you a slightly different way that we're going to use the wall join tool. And that is in w with walls that are already intersecting we can change the end butt um, connection to uh, mitered connection, which will resolve them more neatly. So select wall join, move over the intersection of those two walls, and change from butt to miter. 
move to the next intersection of those two walls, change from but to miter. You see how elegantly that resolves those corners. Now all that's left to do is to switch these wall ends to disallow joins. Click on wall join. That one needs to be disallowed. This one needs to be disallowed. Zoom in carefully when you're doing this. Select that wall. Be careful not to click on allow join, which will reverse that. So we're going to drag the wall end till it meets. Same here, drag the wall end till it meets. Now we have a much more coherent representation of the intersection of those walls.